grace, mercy, peace, blessings, and love from the Most High and from His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Minister Kev, back at you. And this year, Halloween, falls on the weekend. Me and the Ghetto Boys are trick-or-treating. Yeah, some of you know what I'm talking about, who may be old school. You know, it was all fun and games back then, you know. Watch out for the bag snatchers. Get as much candy as you can, you know. But look here. Stop with the foolishness. It comes down to paganism. If, if, if the kids want some candy, just take yourself on down at a Walmart and get them some candy. That's all you got to do. Don't participate in this paganism of Halloween. And we're going to get into that a little bit. Now you have these churches nowadays, man, they want to compromise. Just like the Roman Catholic Church been filled with compromise, trying to appease the people. But look, if you're a pleaser of men, then you're not a servant of Christ. You can't be a servant of Christ and a man pleaser at the same time, man. That's what Joe Osteen does and T.D. Jakes and all the hosts and the rest of them, Pope Francis. But let's get into some of the origins of this pagan festival of Halloween. Now, you know the Roman power always got their hand in it. I believe it was Pope Gregory who made it official by way of All Hallows' Eve leading up to all Saints Day. So you see Hallow's Eve and the evening of, and then comes uh, November 1st with All Saints Day. But then you throw in the uh, the pagans who are into something called, it's spelled Samhain, but it's pronounced, I believe, Samhain. Samhain. Now that comes from those Europeans up there in the northern parts, you know, the barbarian region and even regions of the UK and Ireland, you know, Rome conquered a lot of different nations. But when they conquered them to appease those ones whom they conquered, they would incorporate their paganism and combine it with Christianity. And, you know, the two really don't mix, you know, a little leaving, leaving the whole lump. So Samhain and, you know, these pagans have always worshipped and celebrated festivals you know they worship and serve the creature more than the creator they worship and serve nature more than the one who created nature they do that instead of serving jesus christ instead of serving jesus you know so it's really nothing new under the sun like i said Samhain, you know you would have their uh their priests druids now you've heard of the celtics or the Celtics, Boston Celtics, the Celtic people, primarily, you know, even from Ireland and the Irish, they would have their Druid priests and their human and their animal sacrifices. The Druid priests knocking on doors. Hey, we need a, a treat. Give us a treat, something we can sacrifice or dedicate to our gods or what have you. And if you don't, will put a trick on you or will put a hex on you. Thus, you have trick or treat. And now back in the day, they had the, uh, 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 it was a head instead of now, I believe they have the pumpkin. So there's really nothing new under the sun about this. It's a wicked holiday. Stop compromising. Now you got these churches, a whole lot of Southern Baptist churches, Baptist churches. Oh, we're going to have trunk or treat. So we're going to fill the trunks up with candy and let the kids, they can wear what they want to wear and all this. Look, that's compromise. You're doing just like your daddy or just like that harlot, the Catholic church. Ain't no compromise. A little leaving, leaving the whole lump. So it's nothing but Samhain incorporated with All Saints Day, all mixed together. And eventually you came up with uh, uh, Halloween and with uh, the Druids. It was the thinly veiled time when the spiritual element was very active. Amen. And you could see, uh, 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 we'll see all kind of stuff, see spirits and, you know, these individuals who are contacting spirits, whether they're into Wicca or uh, black magic or voodoo, it's all the same. And it ain't no such thing as a white witch, a, a black witch, a purple witch. It's all a witch. And the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Now, in the New Testament, amen, we don't go out and kill, amen, but we're going to kill you with the word of God, amen. So listen up. Parents, man, you're, you're, you're offering your children. You're opening them up to spirits, to spirits, all the activity. And you see how people act. You see how people still act like pagans. People will look for any excuse to eat and drink and rise up to play. So why they could 
uh, uh, fulfill their flesh, get drunk and what? Fornicate. Ain't nothing new under the sun. They built a golden calf when uh, Moses took too long for them to come on down and Aaron went along with it and they had a golden calf and they rose up to eat and drink and play. So let's get into the word of God real quick. I'm in a Psalm 106 and at 28. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor and ate the sacrifices of the dead. You know, in Mexico, they have the day of the dead. They're all dressed up. This is paganism at its finest. You see, you, you, I mean, you, the day of the dead in Mexico. Look it up. The information is out there. Now, notice it says they joined themselves unto Baal, pure. You see that word Baal? The Israelites and the nations whom they were to drive out, they worship other gods. Molech, Baal, even Ashtaroth, a goddess, other gods. Baal, and uh, it was Elijah and the prophets of Baal, and what they would do would uh, uh, begin to cut themselves. And you see, even in the Roman Catholic Church, how they would self-mutilate themselves, trying to replicate what Jesus Christ went through. Sometimes you have these uh, Catholic churches, even over in the Philippines, where they're trying to emulate uh, what Jesus Christ went through, and they'll even nail themselves to a cross. That stupidity of paganism, of leaving away from the Holy Scriptures. That's foolishness. That's like uh, abusers of themselves with mankind. And sodomy, that, my goodness, that's abuse. That's abuse. And these individual pagans, they want more and more pain. So they uh, uh, pierce their ears. And, and, and now that doesn't even satisfy them. So they do uh, both ears. And then now that the hole be so big, you can put a quarter through the hole. This is paganism. You know, ain't nothing new under the sun. I was talking a little bit about Baal, Balaam, and all those prophets of Baal compared to the true prophet Elijah. They couldn't handle Elijah. And you know, his God, Jehovah God, answered by fire. Amen. So they joined themselves also unto Baal pure and ate the sacrifices of the dead. So you're letting your kids walk through the fire? Basically, uh, sacrificing your own children. All, oh, oh, it's so cute. Little Johnny, I'm going to dress you up uh, uh, as a little angel. And you see transgenders act like every single day is Halloween. People now in the world, they want you every single day to wear a mask with this new COVID restriction. And Joe Biden say he going to uh, 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 make it make it official. You got to wear a mask, you know. I mean, it's nothing new under the sun from the Mardi Gras. And even that Mardi Gras form that they have in Brazil. People dressing up to eat. To drink, to get drunk, basically, and have orgies and fornicate to uh, fulfill their flesh. But we're talking about and trying to build you up and get you to have the spirit to become born again, born of the spirit. Amen. Because you need the spirit of Christ. Amen. To walk in the spirit so you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. The flesh want to eat and drink and be merry and, and do what the flesh want to do. Amen. But you have to. uh uh Hear the word of God and do what it says. Amen. You have to walk in the spirit so you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. So you parents, take your kids down there to the Walmart and get them some candy. Amen. They ate the sacrifices of the dead. You notice on this Halloween and it's even in the workplace. Man, you got grown, uh, grown adults acting like little kids having Halloween contests, bobbing for apples and all this weird stuff that they do. Man, this stuff come from Europe, from the Druids, like I said, from the Celtics, mixed in with the power to make it official through the Roman Pope Gregory. Once again, the wicked Roman church, that harlot, and they ate the sacrifices of the dead. Let me ask you a question. What's so good about blood and fake blood and skeletons? As you can see, that picture I came out with the skeletons. And What's so good about death? They've made a covenant with hell and uh, they're in agreement with hell and made a covenant with death. You know, when it trickled down to the Israelites because they were trying to be like the other nations. But God said, when you come into a nation that I'm going to bring you in, don't do like those other nations. When I bring you into a place, don't do like the... Other nations don't do like the Romans do. Does the saying do what the Romans do? No, 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 no. Don't be a follower. Don't do what the Romans do. Do what God tell you to do. Amen. What's so good about witches and warlocks? God is against all that stuff. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll dress little Steve. 
you know, it, um, he'll be an angel. He'll be the apostle Paul. Man, stop with the compromise, just like trunk or treat. Come on, Baptist. Man, you got to come out of that mess. Come out from among them and be ye separate. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions. Halloween. It's all an invention. These are man-made traditions. And you don't even know why you do things. These are inventions. The Bible said they are inventors of evil things. Halloween. All of these customs, carving pumpkins and, you know, and the plague break in upon them. So you wonder why COVID-19 is on the scene. And I thank God that COVID-19 shut down a lot of these Halloween festivities. That's a blessing to make you really sit and think. Get in the Holy Scriptures. Pray. Amen. Seek it and you shall find. You'll find those who have a like mind who want to satisfy a, a God, amen, who want to please God and not lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. But you want people who are lovers of God more than lovers of pleasures. Amen. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions and the plague break in upon them. So you see, all of the insanity in the Satanism and the evilness that's in the world. I believe it was in Nice, uh, France, over there by, yeah, over there in Europe, France, France, Nice. They had the terrorist attack today and two were beheaded. I believe three were killed. Two were beheaded in the Roman Catholic Church of the Notre Dame Basilica Church. Two was beheaded in the church. No power. And I wish it didn't happen. It's sad. You know, because these individuals could have been sincere, but they was in a false religion. I wouldn't want to be them at the judgment. I really wouldn't. But it is sad that happened. And you have the Allah Akbars, the Muhammadans or the, the Muslims who were responsible. I believe it was a young man uh, from Tunisia. He should have never been in Europe, but he slid through the cracks somehow. Because when you have these leaning left type uh individuals who oh just let everybody let all the syrian refugees in you see what they, they, there ain't no borders in europe they're too open so you can go wherever you want to go and through these refugees he was hot on Allah akbar even to the point where when he was apprehended saying his god is greater than your god but his god is lesser because you worship Allah or the moon god you know and you go, you think you could just go to God and not go through a mediator because Muhammad is not a mediator. Muhammad is a false prophet. So you saw what took place in Nice, uh, Notre Dame uh, Catholic Church with two people who were beheaded. It's a lot of evilness in this world. Amen. So that's why we're trying to get you to come out of darkness into his marvelous light. And the Bible is clear. Let's turn to Deuteronomy, the 18th chapter, about verse 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. So he brought them into the land of Canaan. And you had all of those uh, pagans who were worshiping other gods. Don't do what they do. Don't desire after what they have. Don't let your sons uh, have their take, take their daughters or vice versa. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. So you're basically sac sacrificing symbolically your own children. You already believe in a abortion, you know, but you, you, you let them do this stuff. And you wonder why they act crazy. They get to an age and they're so rebellious because you didn't listen. You didn't heed the warning or maybe you just don't know. But I'm finna tell you. Or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. So God say don't do all these things. Don't go to psychics. Don't worry about horoscopes. All that stuff can be traced all the way back to Babylon and even Egypt. See, pagans have always worshipped nature. Whether it was the stars in the sky, or the trees, or whatever. They worship nature. You know, it's nothing wrong with nature. But don't worship it. Don't say, oh, these are our gods that brought us out of Egypt. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard. You know, you want to dress up little Steve as a, as a wizard, 
or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God will drive them out from before thee. So God, through the promise, drove out all those nations in the land of Canaan and they became Israel through promise. Amen. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. I believe he said, be thee perfect for I am perfect. For these nations which thou shalt possess, hearken unto observers of times. My goodness, you observe horoscopes and unto di diviners like Balaam and, and you know, uh, the various uh, soothsayers and the various false prophets and the various Simon the sorcerers and all this. But as for thee, the Lord thy God have not suffered thee to do so. Amen. Now, let, let me keep reading. No, it says the Lord thy God will raise unto thee a prophet. From the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. So like unto Moses, God is going to raise up a prophet. Now, which prophet is that? Because a Muslim, like that Muslim that killed those people in Nice, will say, oh, that's prophet Muhammad. That's a lie from the pits of hell. It's talking about Jesus Christ, the prophet. Amen. Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only. Not your false prophet. It's talking about Jesus Christ. Amen. So I had to cover that. Amen. Let's turn our Bibles also to... Let's go right here. First Corinthians, the 10th chapter. And at 19, it says here, What say I then, that the idol was anything? Or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols is anything? See that idol, that Christmas tree, and once again is a compromise? You want to uh, mix up of the festival of Saturnalia and mix it in with Christianity and stuff like that? It's nothing but compromise. You know, to to uh, uh, satisfy the people. Uh, you, you don't want to lose the people because if you lose the people, you lose the money. What say I then? That the idol is anything or that which is offering a sacrifice to idols is anything? You, you know that little uh, orange you set out for Buddha? It ain't nothing. But see, you don't see what's happening in the spiritual realm because we're up against principalities, powers of spiritual wickedness in high places. You don't see what's taking place on Halloween when the... Uh, the, the, the spiritual influences, these fallen angels, these demons, these unclean spirits, you don't see the activity. But when you open yourself up, they come in. So you can't open yourself up. You know, you, 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 oh, you, you, you got some lights, some Halloween lights to show that you're a player in this Halloween. Man, you're just inviting devils into your house. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. I would not that ye have fellowship with devils. So it's really no power in the idol, but you can't see what's behind the scene. You can't see in the invisible realm. You know, demons and unclean spirits are invisible, you know, but you can't see what's going on in the invisible realm. So you're really uh, 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 having fellowship with devils. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. You cannot be partakers of the Lord's table in the table of devils. Do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? So you can't be a Mason and a Christian at the same time. It don't work like that. You can't be a Christian to celebrate Halloween and uh, uh, Christmas. And they call it Christ Mass originally and all these other fake festivals, Lent. All that stuff is not in the Bible. My goodness. Oh, you say, oh, well, you know, there was three wise men. No, I don't say they say wise men from the East. So you're adding on to the Bible. You can't do that because God will take your name out of the book of life. Amen. So it's clear as evident. Amen. You see what's going on, my goodness, I believe in Turkey. They had a major earthquake. I believe it was about 7.0. And then on top of that, you had a, a tsunami by way of the shaking that transpired in Greece. So you see all the signs. This Bible says that there were going to be earthquakes in diverse places. Amen. It's time to wake up. Wake up, I say. Wake up. Let's go to Acts for the sake of time. Let's go to Acts 4. And 10, I'm going to start at 10. Be it known unto y'all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. Amen. Jesus Christ can heal the corona. Amen. Jesus Christ is a healer. Amen. For the sake of time, let's get on down at a 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. And there is none, none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So Buddha can't save you. Muhammad can't save you. Man, that, die, that, that dude died. He thought he was going to have a bunch of virgins in heaven. 
you know, and, and little boys, because they don't tell you in the Quran, it doesn't just say virgins, but they also say little boys. And you see all that uh, sodomy behavior in places like Afghanistan with the boy love, but they get it from their forefathers, even the Catholics. They say even the Catholics created Islam. You know, there's studies into that. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. So you got to get with Jesus, get water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Before it's too late, you seen the earthquake, my goodness, 7.0. It's time to get it right, man. Time is winding up. Stay in the Bible. Stay encouraged. Hey, man, this is Minister Kev coming to you with a few brief words. Had to get them out. It's been a long day. Sometimes we work six days a week, seven days a week. You know, but that's life. Hey, man, if a man don't work, he don't eat. But that's what it is. It's a good day to get saved. Hey, man, before it's everlasting too late, watch the videos. You'll be blessed. Until the next time.